It's not a good place for an intro. This is not a good place for an intro. We are in a parking garage, Paul, and there is noise everywhere. It's a beautiful crisp morning. <laughs> You're at a Universal, except that this is freaking real copyright. Over here that Okay, we'll get this intro done, I promise. Mariah is the only one that's been to Universal Park. It was like 15 years ago, but. Lots of stories. I do have a couple We're... memories. I do have a few memories. And we need to explain that Matthew uh, swore never to come to Universal, but because of his love for Disney. But he's coming because Paul and I love Harry Potter. And for our birthday, he decided, Matt, Brian and him decided that they wanted us all to go. So this is very special. And it just shows what a great friend Matthew is to yes. us. So finally, what's up, everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Lou. We're our twins. This is Matthew Mamour. Giggle, And uh, we are here at Universal Studios for the very first time, other than Mariah. So he was I here 15 here years ago. 15 years ago. Of all the people, Matthew's ticket was messed up and he had to go to guest services. Of all the people, the one who was like, I hate this place, I will not come to this place. He's the one that gets his ticket messed up. Ugh. So Matthew's headed there. We're at Rope Drop and waiting to try to go toward, we're gonna go to a Greek Gods and try to get in vir the virtual queue for Hagrid's. If we can get into Hagrid's, Matthew can just jump on with us. If we can get into the queue, he might be able to join us in the queue, potentially, for Green Gods. Our goal. That's our goal. I just love the light that's happening in here. You don't even care about Matthew's predicament. I do. <laughs> I really do. I, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> no, I know. I'm not gonna I know. stress. I can't stress about it. I'm stressed about it. There's too much. I feel like I can't move any more forward because I have to like gather everything here. I know. This is too cool. Okay, we have to go get in line for Green Gods, but oh my gosh. And look at this, look at that. Back in there. Five extra dollars because he bought his ticket for tomorrow and not today, and they didn't have enough tickets for today, so they still sold them on it. Oh, that's sweet. This is just unreal. I just can't. Also, uh, just so y'all know, in the future, don't bring a backpack to Universal. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know that. We made a mistake. Might be one really small one. Yeah. And don't. I don't know how people do it with big cameras. There's just no way. Anyway, we're switching to a mobile format, so here we go. <laughs> this was the second rough part of our day. We'd only been at the parks for about 20 minutes and we already found out that we couldn't take our bags on rides. We did not know this. And they would not fit in the lockers because we had all our camera equipment with us. So Matthew, the saint that he is, decided that he would sit with our bags so that we could go enjoy the ride. This, just this whole, this whole attraction is just incredible. It's like the office is a green guy and all the moving pictures. They really knew what they were doing when they made up a, a queue line. Yes. <laughs> That was legitimately the coolest thing. I love it so much. There's a little bit there, but it was visually so cool. Yes. That was, there was a little girl right in front of us that got off and she was, was like, that was so cool. And I was like, I, can, I, can, I agree, I can Huh? I know, I love that they utilize Bill as like your kind of like guide. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> and then you got, yeah, Voldemort was there. That was cool, yeah, that too. Was so fun. I love that the, the, they got the actors to reprise their roles. That yes. was cool. Y'all, how's that butter beer? It's so tasty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta get a 
Well, it's your Be shot. Be careful yeah. with your cheers. Okay, three, two, one. Cheers! <laughs> yeah! Put all this stuff on. Oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> so good. Is it good, Luke? It's so good. It's like butterscotch candy. Yeah. I kind of wish it was an animatronic because it would go like this. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Mia Universal. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I really enjoy uh, uh, drinking uh, here at the parks because uh, you can see our faces while I film. This is so good. So good. So good. And I love this back here. That beer is so sweet. Yeah, no kidding. This is this is a pretty spooky. It's spooky and creepy and spooky. I was just telling them earlier. I walked through here, and there was nobody in here, and it was like creepy. But now that there's a lot of people in here, it's even more creepy. Yeah, right. <laughs> bag is stuffle. Like we said earlier, don't bring your bags. Um, so we tried to take them. We thought our fast pass was from 950 to 1050. It's 950 to 1020, like the virtual queue for Hagrid, which is in the other park. So our plan was to go do Green Guys and then ride the train over and then do Hagrid. But because of our bags, we had to run back to the car. Now we thought we had more time than we did. We realized when we got to the car or when we got close to the car, we realized that we had uh, less than 15 minutes to get from the parking garages to Hagrid. Yeah. So we uh, said, grab your bags and go. Or he grabbed our bags and, and then took, we, we took off. Took off running. He's such a good friend. Yeah. And took yeah. A, took off running and uh, we ran all the way through the parks. It was exhilarating. Yeah. This is not how I expected to get on this ride. Running across the park and jumping right in line just in the last minute of time. But, but here we are. <laughs> actually, I'm a little bit concerned and I think that maybe they would have let us in even after our time because we had a virtual queue. I'm wondering maybe. if that would be the case. In the comments below, tell me if that's the case, because we might not have had to run all the way across here and we could have had our whole party, but Matthew's complaining with customer service right now, so hopefully we'll get another time. <laughs> At this point, Mariah is stuck on the Hogwarts Express, attempting to get to Hagrid's. Paul and Luke have sprinted across the entire park to get to Hagrid's, and Matthew is stuck at customer service, attempting to complain because this has been a mess of a day. It is almost noon, and Matthew has not ridden a ride, and we've only ridden one. And this is when we found out that Hagrid's was down and would be down the rest of today. It is simply ironic that these uh, facades are very snowy because it is hot, so hot. <laughs> now he's passing away. If I pass away from heat exhaustion, well, like, give me something for free. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Mariah was gonna get a pumpkin pasty, but got better, better. They were out. But they were out. I was hoping for something a little bit more substantial. There's nothing like quick to eat here. So. Well, I have to, to settle with fudge. I think one thing that I love a lot about Universal, and specifically the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they immerse you so deeply in this world, both through the cues, through the atmospheres, through just everything, the immersion. And something I love so much is immersion, but I also love the story so much. So even more than the rides, I think I just loved being immersed in Harry Potter. <laughs> We just spent a very long and time waiting outside. Mitch and Emma brought us beans. Beans! <laughs> Friendship beans. Friendship beans. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. 
baptism. But, but we've been, yeah, we've been in, we've been in uh, the queue for a very long time. And Mitch and Emma actually have fast passes, so they don't even need to be here. But we're hanging out, we're having a good time. And uh, I love this queue. So. Elmo, what do you think about our uh, adventure here at it's Universal? It's pretty day. <laughs> and Mariah's tiptoeing because she's really struggling with those shoes. It's all right. We're making it. We are uh, I have been done. a long time in pain, so not that that's something to brag about, but... You've continued. I've, I've You've continued. pushed through. Um, persevered? Yeah, persevered. Long suffering. <laughs> yes. The one thing we didn't get done is that we didn't get an opportunity to ride the train, which is really sad. It doesn't look like the lines are very long, but it did say it was a 55 minute wait. But, yeah, 45 no, minutes. Uh, no, I'm not waiting for it. We're tired. We're done. But anyway, what did you guys think of Universal? It was what it was. It was. It was, it was, it was, it was a good, it was a really good day to catch up with you guys and hang out. That was so fun. Um, they did not have to stand in a, a, in a two hour freaking queue with us, but we had a really good time catching up and that was fun. What? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Hopefully it wasn't too crazy. Uh, we'll see, see you in another video real soon. Go inside, K-Bike! Boom, yeah!